Some people might believe there is a right, for instance, as a parent to say 50% of the time with your child because you're the other parent. Well, in law there's nothing like that. In law, the Children Act 1989 governs what should happen. It says whatever the outcome should be, should be in the best interest of the child. And it is very rare that a child should be split in care, for instance, between mum and dad, week on, week off, month on, month off. It is normally uh, an arrangement which is unsettling and not sustainable. What is sustainable is quality contact of whatever level. And the quality contact, leaving the child at the end of that contact, knowing that they've had a loving, supportive, enjoyable experience, bonded with their other parent who they're not living with all the time. That's what you're really aiming for, so that the child grows up knowing that both parents love them dearly, that both parents support them, and it doesn't actually matter how much time that involves. I can think of a situation where the father is in the States, he sees the child only by Skype on a week or fortnightly basis, and has at max three or four weeks a year with face-to-face -face living and, and seeing and spending time with that child. But that child still has a forthright beneficial relationship with that father, notwithstanding that problem. So you're not looking for 50-50. You're not looking for, it's definitely got to be fortnightly. It could be once a week, it could be twice a week. It's whatever suits you both and particularly suits your child. But your child is not set in stone. The child is growing up. The child's needs change throughout the whole time that child is growing from zero to mid-teens, I'd suggest. And by mid-teens, you'll find that child will tell you what to do rather than you as a parent.